let's look at how to set up a store location for your Facebook business. It's just like this. This is uh, Starbucks Canada. What they've got in across Canada is multiple locations all across Canada. So in the Facebook page, you can go to stores and you can see multiple instead of just one location. How does, what, what, why switch to these? Because it, then you can have multiple location page, one primary one, and then sub pages that for each of the sub pages and aggregation of content. If you have one, if having one place to post the content is important to your company, this solution is right for you. As a page owner, you'll be able to post across all locations um, without having to go to each one. So you post to one, it'll then funnel to the sub pages that serves that location. It'll also improve not having rogue pages where you'll forget that you have this page and that page. They're all linked like spoke and hub sort of thing. You got a hub of the wheel and then spokes of the locations all across. So how do you do this? You got to go to your Facebook business manager, business.facebook.com, log in and you'll get this page. Um, select your business because if you're managing ones and you're an agency like mine, you'll have multiples in this drop down and you can do the wrong one. So you make sure then, you know, this add the store details, create ads specifically for your stores, optimize and grow. And essentially, um, it's as easy as that. And then you can set up the, the locations and you get started and it'll tell you stores on Facebook are represented by pages. Okay. It'll become a page that represents the entire business. When you add the store details, a new store with the details like address and phone number will be created for each store that you add. So you have a page for each store location. The store page will be linked to your main page and you'll be able to manage them. So you post to your main page and you can choose whether or not if the post goes out or you want to do it manually. So that's neat. So you say yes, it'll, re it'll represent the whole business, not a specific store. So it can't have an address. We'll remove this address when you make Cross Mechanical Heat your main page. If there's a store at this address, you can add those store details and create a new one. Remove address and make Cross Mechanical my main page. That's what you need to do, right? And then would you like to create a store page for 20? Yes. And then you do, I, we do. So we're going to go for it. That's going to be the first one. So now we've created your first store page for um, gross mechanical heating and cooling and Owen sound. You're ready to add the rest of your store details. So if we go to stores, now it'll take us in. You might have to go back and forth to see up here in store locations. You have, sometimes it kicks you out. Just go back to it again and then you're in here and then it'll have the first one. So then we can go in and we can take a look. Okay, what's all the details? A store ID one, Owen sound, postal code, phone number, Wi-Fi, network name. Hey, that's neat. And then it shows essentially where in Owen Sound his main uh, location is. Page username, okay, so we can go, um, you know, well, let's see, what Starbucks do? Starbucks Canada. So I would probably go um, uh, Cross Mechanical um, Owen Sound, right? I think that makes sense, Cross mechanical Owen sound that is the best way to go about it and I'm going to uh, just make sure yep and that should be maybe we should gray county no I think M8 mechanical you got to make sure everything's spelled correctly right guys <laughs> basic no hours it's always there unspecified and we save boom so we've got the first location for uh, for the setup of cross mechanical. Now we want to set up another one. So we're going to set up another store, add your stores. When you add a new store, a new page is automatically created from the store details that you provide. All the store page from page structure that is linked to the main page will represent your entire business, which is great. People find out how to visit different stores from information they see in store pages, like addresses and phone numbers. So as, yeah, just like that other result, um, you can do that. So add manually. So we're going to add this one manually because we're creating a new one, name, store descriptor. Um, this is Cross McCann, Mechanical Nova Scotia, right? Um, and now the address, you must have the address. And we've got an address here for this second location. And we're going to go Porters Lake. Oops. Hmm. Let's try this. City or town? 
Nova Scotia. Okay, so we will put the postal code over here. X, boom. Four drives, Porter's Lake. Okay. City or town? We'll go with that one. Let's see. Just making sure that it's in the right area. Very importante. Hey, I got it. Look at that go. That's fantastic. Add a phone number. Okay, you want to put the, your East Coast or your other location, I mean, uh, phone number out there, uh, which is great. Wi-Fi network, page description. Let's go Cross Mechanical Nova Scotia. I think that's better. Nova Scotia. Sure. Um, East Coast. I think that would be better. Nova Scotia. Yeah, mechanical. Heating. Cooling. Same one. Heating. What's subcategory? Let's try um, heating. Um, air condition. Guess it doesn't see it. Let's go furnace. Oh. Heating. I guess heating, cooling, and air conditioning service is good enough. No hours, choose one, and we're going to save. And now we've officially created two sub pages that we can market to, a store ID one, store ID two, which is fantastic. I'm gonna screenshot this so I can send it to the client. And then we're gonna have to work. So now um, let's take a peek over here at uh, let's go gross mechanical. Okay, let's go over to gross mechanical and take a look to see how the page is acting now. So now we've got, let's go to the about page and see if he's got any address information there. It should be moved. So it is, it's moved. And now we've got stores at the bottom here on his page. Now we've set that up. Check it out. So now this is what you should see, these two pages. There's a page there, which we could go and take a look if we wanted to. And the, uh, the actual location is, let's show you here. So now you can see in the bar here that it's created this sub page for this page. And it's got all of the things there. So now, and now let's go back here. So it's got, it duplicated everything to these sub pages to mimic it. So you get that and now the, you have a main page that is the primary heating and cooling one in Owen Sound here. So this is going to, to um, be very the same unless we do that. So there's some extra settings that I just wanna let you know um, that's really important to see. There's some other settings that's really important to see here and I'm going to show you something. Um, that if you go in here um, to the settings on the page, there's like some um, area here where you can actually uh, set it so that things flow in different um, locations. Let's see this locations area. Uh, that's where you can get to the locations. Store page settings. Let's see. Uh, here it is. So. Okay, so this is really important. So here in the business manager, you want to go in and then up here in the top. So this is like global. So choose how you want to manage your store page, po page post. So anytime that someone posts on your main page, right, the hub, only show on store pages that don't publish their own posts or always show. How do you want to manage your store pages? Um, only show on store pages that don't publish their own poetry or never show. And then store suggestion, allow, allow people visiting your store pages to see other cross mechanical heating is near them that they might want to visit. So that's okay. That's kind of like different provinces, but this one is the one that really man, um, to note. So allowing visitors to see other location nearby is always a good choice. But the second question is the most relevant to content. If you'd like the location page to show the same posts, photos, and links shared on the main page, you'll, you'll want to select Always Show. If you'd like to update each location on its own, then you'll want to select the last option to, of Never Show. The middle option, only show on, on store pages that don't publish their own posts, will show the same posts as the main page until something is changed or added to the location page. 
so you can control them independently. Then it will not show any posts and will switch to never showing main page posts. I hope that makes sense. You can contact me if that doesn't, but this is one of the most important things for how you post to one page. Does it go to the next page or does it just stay on there and you manually um, post to those sub pages? Very, very important. Um, you can turn on, uh, just to let you know, that you can turn on and off reviews. You can turn them on for each location manually with the, with the setting. Um, messages, if you not rather monitor the messages for each location, the setting can be changed so that users are not allowed to send messages um, because there will be messages going to each of the pages and page roles. Perhaps each store would like to post their own information and events to the location. Use this feature to assign managers like you usually do in the back end. With a little time and effort, guys, um, you can get your brand up and running really quick uh, with these um, new, uh, you know, these location pages. And you can um, you can also create Facebook ads to market each store independently, which is fantastic. And then you'll be able to measure the stats a lot more specific with the stores. OK, if you have any more questions about setting up and um, managing Facebook locations, uh, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in another video. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching this video.